the early Earth, when the atmosphere prevented sunlight from reaching the surface. Primitive life was about to emerge underground, in the cave of a geyser. Uranium ore emitted large amounts of radiation, creating a diverse range of materials, and eventually producing the early building blocks of life. Water boiled and rose up to the surface, and the surface water flowed back down into the natural nuclear reactor. The temperature of the geyser water remained below 100 degrees, protecting the newly formed biomolecules. The underground environment was reductive, while the surface environment oxidizing. These conditions were necessary to synthesize biomolecules. In the Earth's Hadean eon, tidal forces were much more pronounced than they are today. Even lakes had significant ebb and flow of water, creating wet and dry cycles. These wet and dry cycles were one of the most crucial factors in producing the building blocks of life. Fatty acids came together, encasing the proto-life molecules. Polymerization progressed under the wet and dry cycles. Eventually, protein-like basic materials that could act as catalysts were produced. These molecules circulated between the geyser cave and the surface environment. The interactions of these materials led to more complex biomolecules. Proto-RNA combined with enzyme-like basic materials and evolved into ribozymes, which had the ability to replicate themselves. This laid the groundwork for life to reproduce. Finally, these molecules were enclosed within lipid membranes, forming primitive protocellular life. This was the beginning of life.